Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a tech here at Eastwood, and we're right in the middle of working on project resolution, and this spot here on the fender needs a little more attention. So today I'm going to show you how to mix, spread, and sand some of our contour glazing putty, and the same methods will apply for the body filler as well. Let's get started. Randy here at Eastwood with a quick tip. You probably noticed the rust pits in the metal where Mike needs to apply the contour glazing putty and filler. Well, you never want to apply filler directly over rust because the rust will eat its way through the filler and ruin your paint. But don't worry, because Eastwood has a solution. Simply apply our fast etch to the affected area and cover it with plastic to prevent it from evaporating. The fast etch will dissolve the rust, leaving you with nice clean metal. Then spray some rust encapsulator on the area and sand it off. The rust encapsulator will remain in the pits, making it safe to apply the filler and paint. Now back to Mike. Contour glazing putty sands very nicely with 180, but I like to break it open with 80 grit first just to save a couple minutes of time. After some blocking with 180, we still have a low spot here where the block never touched. So I'm going to come in here with some 80 grit, give it a quick scratch, and then spread some more filler on it, get it nice and even. Now that I finished block sanding with 180 grit, I used a blow gun to clean the whole surface and look for pinholes. I didn't find any, but if I did, I could mix up a small amount of glazing putty and spread it with a razor blade. Use the tips and techniques you learned in this video and order yourself some contour glazing putty or body filler today, and your project will be laser straight in no time. 